It is never proven who the fraudster is. But with the demise of Piltdown, an old idea dies with it. That a big brain was the defining factor in the missing link. Something else had to come before the evolution of a big brain. So now, a new theory replaces the old. What defined the beginning of humanity was not brain growth. It was using tools. Somewhere in Africa lay the fossils of our first tool-making ancestor. And by the late 1950s, one man was on the verge of finding it. It is 1915, and a young boy named Louis Leakey is looking for stone tools near his missionary home. It's the beginning of a lifelong obsession that will lead Leakey to revolutionize the entire story of human origins. Forty-four years later, Leakey is looking for the missing link. And the search has taken him to what is now Tanzania. Leakey has persuaded the scientific world to see the missing link as the first human ancestor to make tools. Now, all he has to do is find it. He's supported by his second wife, Mary, with her son, Jonathan, who's just out of school. Oh, you got something, boy. They found plenty of stone tools, but so far, no sign of Leakey's tool maker. And he's been looking here for 22 years. His luck must change soon. July 17, 1959, finds Louis Leakey laid low with the flu. Major work at the dig site has slowed while he recovers. And though it may not feel like it, it's a day that will make his career. In the cool of the early morning, Mary takes the chance to walk her dogs and heads away from the camp. She isn't expecting to find much in the way of fossils, but this year's rains have done them an unexpected favor. As she casually scans the broken surface, her mind suddenly registers an unmistakable shape exposed in the dirt. It's the top of a skull. Mary is convinced this must be the tool maker they have been searching for. Louis, darling, please wake up. I found something very important. Darling, please, I know you're not feeling well, but try and wake up. What have what you, you found? It, oh. I don't know. That's why I want you to come oh. and have a look. So you're going you're gonna to have to help me. Louis Leakey has waited 20 years to find this tool-making human ancestor. Well done, my dear. You have better eyes than me. But this is not what he expected to find. The skull is more ape-like than he ever imagined. Oh, certainly not a homo, my dear, I'm afraid. Have a look at this. But darling, just look at where he was found. It can't just be a coincidence. Yet it's in the same geological layer as the tools. Yes. The logic is inescapable. 
This must be the tool maker, and therefore, the beginning of humanity. Leakey names it Zinjanthropus Boesii, after his financial sponsor, Charles Boise. It has a small brain, but massive teeth and jaws, whose muscles were so large, they had to be anchored to a ridge at the top of the skull. But if Zinj was using tools, why did it need such powerful jaws? Leakey overlooks this question and announces Zinj as the tool maker. For a year, the scientific world accepts Zinj as the tool making missing link. Then, in 1960, Leakey completely changes his mind. Mary is on her way from the camp into town when a paint can comes dislodged in the back of her Land Rover. As she stops to fix it, she notices a familiar shape in the dirt. It's another piece of skull of an entirely new, more human-like species. Leakey decides that this, finally, is his long-lost toolmaker. He names it Homo habilis, literally, handyman. Habilis had a larger brain and much more human teeth, which made sense if he was getting meat using stone tools. Though the tools habilis made were little more than broken rocks, they marked the very start of human stone technology. But if Habilis is the tool maker, why was Zinj also found with the tools? Leakey has stumbled across an incredible discovery, and that discovery is humans and human-like organisms coexisting in Africa at the same time. By the early 1960s, the whole model of human evolution is called into question, and with it, the very idea of a single missing link. For over a century, the model of human evolution had been a simple straight line. It began with a lower evolutionary form, an ancestral ape, and ended with the most advanced creature on Earth, the modern human being. And somewhere in the middle, there had to be a missing link between the two. So when Leakey finds Zinj, it takes pride of place. Until a new candidate arrives. All of a sudden, you have Hablis, this more human-looking animal. Both these fossils date to the exact same age, about 1.8 million years of age. So what do you do? You have to remove Zinj from the human line and you have to place them in different lines. And what is the most amazing thing, in the same valley, within meters of each other, you have two species living side by side. And that changes or makes a whole paradigm shift in how we view human evolution. And so this line is all of a sudden broken apart. 